<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a special video for you. You finna love this video. Let me put a little bit of lip gloss so that you know. <laughs> Yes, okay, so today's video is going to be about how to spot a side cheek. How do you know that you are the side cheek? How? How do you know? You don't know, so let me give you my tips. Oh, because nobody wants to be in a position where they are the side chick, where they think that they are the girlfriend, but then they are actually the side chick. Okay, so number one tip that I'm going to give you okay so if you're with a guy and you never and i mean never get to meet his friends look honey it's not that he's not trying to make you meet his friends but he already showed one girl to his friends and that's his main girl so like he's not trying he's not trying to involve you in his life like that because you're not he's not really serious with you so you're probably sitting there wondering oh yeah i haven't met derek well babes you're not gonna meet derek because Derek is my best friend and he knows my my girlfriend um, Samantha and really and truly Derek and, Derek and Samantha are like this so you're not going to meet any of his friends so sorry but you're not going to you're, that's not going to happen when you guys only go on weekday dates sis if the guy is not going to see you on the weekend weekends is where everybody is is at yeah Weekends is where everybody's free, everybody goes out, so he doesn't want you to most likely bump into one of his friends. So you guys only go out on weekdays. Weekdays is probably because one, his girlfriend might be working, and two, yeah, he might be available on the weekdays, and most people don't go out on weekdays. And I'm pretty sure when you guys go out on weekdays, you go out to like a secluded place, like probably somewhere like for lunch. You don't go out for dinners, you go out for lunch because if you go out for dinners at night, you don't know, you might run into one of his mates or you might run into one of his family members. So Sis, there's a good chance that you're dealing with a guy that's in a relationship because he doesn't want to see you at night on the weekend. No, no, this guy wants to see you during the week at lunch a lunch date i mean seriously who does lunch dates so if you're really with someone he wouldn't be glued to his phone 24 7. look and his phone wouldn't be he wouldn't be texting somebody he wouldn't be texting 24 7 like you're his girl so he should feel comfortable in where when you're with him he should be comfortable enough for him to put his phone down and to enjoy the time that he's spending with you so if this guy's constantly on his phone constantly replying to messages sis he's not trying to spend time with you like that sis he's not trying to be with you like that he's trying to reassure his baby his main girl that yeah he's out doing grocery shopping yeah he's gonna be back tomorrow yeah he's only at work doing the night shift sis like if he's constantly tweeting and doing all these status update blah, blah 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 but he's not trying to say out with my girl he's not trying to say oh chilling with the bae chilling with my boo Nah, but he's there saying FIFA 25, yeah, I need to go home and do this, I need to go home and do that. Sis, best believe that's not your man. That is not your man. He probably has two phones and you can probably text him on one number and um, he probably has your and he has your name saved as something else. And also, like when you ask him, he's always like, yeah, babe, that's just my, that's just my nickname for ya. That's just my nickname, innit? Babe, I just give you a little nickname on my phone sis that's not your boo because deep it yeah why first of all is your boyfriend um having a different name for you in his phone number one and number two why does he have two phones and why do you not have the number to both phones that's number two and number three why can you only text him on one of those phones sis think about it sis 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 let me tell you come closer sis come closer come closer, come closer. when yeah he tells you that he's not available for all the holidays christmas he's not available easter he's not available valentine's day he's not available sis for when he says he's not available for valentine's day best believe that's not your man he's definitely valentine doing valentine with somebody else sir. that's number one number two christmas you cannot come and see me christmas eve or from when you live down the road or maybe you live in 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 manchester and you can drive you cannot come and see me christmas eve that's fine that's good my birthday you don't want to come and see me your birthday i cannot come and spend with you 
Hmm? Okay. Easter. Easter, that's not even a big, big holiday like that. You don't want to come and see me. Oh, New Year's, we, can, we should go and party together. You don't want to come and see me. So when are you going to, when are we going to spend holidays together? What holiday are we spending together? Summer holidays, you only see me twice every month. Hmm. Sis, let me tell you, that is not your man. I'm telling you, if he's not telling, first of all, he's not telling you to spend Valentine's with you. That's not your man because Valentine is meant to be about you too. It's meant to be a thing where you guys are meant to celebrate each other, meant to enjoy each other's company, give each other gifts, blah, blah, blah. Sis, if he's not going to spend Valentine's with you, then what, who is he spending his Valentine's with? Like, who's spending it with? If, he, if he's telling you that it's his mom's birthday and Valentine's, that's fine, but like, he can give his mom's presents in the morning and come and see you at night. You know, you can compromise. Your birthday, he's not trying to spend your birthday with you. His birthday, he doesn't even want to spend it with you, but he will spend the, his birth, he will, he will wait three or four days for you guys to go out for his birthday. Or he will wait two or three days for you, or he will try and go out two or three days beforehand for your birthday. Sis, that is not your man. So them ones where um, you see pictures of him and some random girl, and you're, uh, some girl, and he's like, oh, that's my sis, but him and his sis don't look nothing alike. Sis, look, I am giving you all these signs, all these signs. I'm giving it to you, all the secrets. I am just giving it to you. I'm telling you, sis, you see a picture of him and some girl. And he's telling you, oh, that's my sister. Yeah, like, that's my sister, Brianna. That's my sis. Okay, but how come you've never seen sis? <laughs> okay. You've seen two of his family members, but you've never seen his sis. Okay, that's number one. Number two, him and sis look nothing alike. He's telling you that's his sis. That's fine, that's fine. Why is his sis embracing him like that? Hmm? In the picture, why is sis embracing you like that? I'm telling you, that's not his sister. You are the side chick because he has a girlfriend who he's able to show off. You, he doesn't want to show you off, so therefore you are not his girl. You are the piece he keeps on the side. Don't be the seasoning like to his to his life. Don't be that, bro. Like you need to go out there and find your man that's gonna put you, make you number one, sis. Because that's that man is not for you. He's not for you. Like the last tip that I'm gonna give you, yeah, is when he tells you, "Oh, I'm not into labels." Um, yeah, let's just keep our relationship. It's our relationship. We know we know where we stand. Um. But you're my boyfriend. No, I'm not into the whole boyfriend and girlfriend label. Um, but yeah, you you know you know where we stand, babes. You know where we stand. You you you're my girl. Okay, but I'm your girlfriend, babe. I don't do labels. I don't do labels. If you, if you want to label it, you label it, babe. But I don't do labels. If this guy is telling you this, if he's not trying to specify what the relationship is, if he's not trying to tell you that. Oh, you are my girlfriend. We are in a relationship. But he's telling you, ah, why do you want labels for? Like, what's labels? Labels are not going to defy anything. Labels is nothing. As long as me and you know what's going on, then we know what's going on. Sis, sis, has already labeled somebody else, somebody else's daughter. He has labeled them. He does not want to label you because you are not something to be labeled. Huh? What you guys have is not something to label. Okay? So, therefore, best believe that man is not your man. That man is not your man, yeah? If, if he's not trying to, to show you off, if he's not trying to um, make you priority, if he's not trying to spend time with you, if he's not trying to um, to, sh to share um, like his, his, you know, his life with you, number one, if he's, not, if he's not trying to invite you to places to meet his family and friends, sis, that's not your man. Your date, you've been dating this guy for one, two years and you've never met his, his, his friends, you never met his brother, you never met his sister that he's always talking about, his sister that he's always in photos with, you've never met her, you've never met even his cousins, you know them distant, distant cousins that you don't even know about but like you might see them on the road and be like, hey that's my cousin, he's, you've never met any of them, sis, that's not your man, let me tell you this right now, that's not your man, he's not your man, that's not your man, whatever is going on, you need to analyse test the guy, find out what is going on. If you even have to do CIA investigation, oh yeah, do it. Do what you gotta do because you cannot be taken for a mumu. You cannot. Sis, this was just my message from me to you to let you know that you are not a lump of meat that anybody can just be thrown about anyhow. You need, you are a diamond and you need to be you know, appreciated. You need to be shown off. You need everybody to see who you are. You need somebody that's going to to be so old with your presence that 
they want to show it out to everybody i hope this helped and girls seriously you're worth way more than what that man is giving you go out there and find you a guy that's going to appreciate you going to worship the ground that you walk on and yeah you know it's gonna be your everything so yeah guys i'll see you in my next video bye